Hey there, Ryan Kingsling, founder of ZBrush Workshops, here with another tip for you for ZBrush 4 R2. And this tip is about clay polish. I want to show you what this does and how you can get some really good results using that. Now, clay polish is not necessarily a DynaMesh feature. You can turn your model off and still use clay polish. This would be accessible no matter what. But it has value here with DynaMesh because if you have DynaMesh on and you click this little button, Auto Polish, then every time you control, click, and drag, it'll rebuild this. And that's going to help you establish a certain planar quality to it. But how do you get control over what's being built? So by default, it starts with an edge of zero and that's a little bit on the soft side. Edge of zero plus actually, let's set it to total default settings. Your max curvature will be 25 and so there, that's quite soft. But let's break this down and talk about the features. I'm gonna set edge to negative 10. Control, click and drag. And what you'll notice is that the points where the curve changed those get a little bit harder and then everything else is kind of a little soft okay and th this is in this particular case that's actually quite nice because it has almost a it almost gives me that skin quality so I get a lot of stuff for free and the way you want to think about clay polish is the way a traditional sculptor will use uh, let's say a torch to melt clay into uh, kind of a more of a skin shape so edge to negative 10 has some value. What happens if you hit edge to 10? Okay. Instead of it kind of pulling out and the form kind of becoming rounder, it's actually done the inverse and it's now starting to push in. And that's pretty cool because that has some value for kind of really, say, creating some peaks, really strong peaks, really strong valleys and hence really planar structure. Okay, so that could be valuable. But can you modify this a little bit? Let's just drop this down and then come over here and try another. So I'm gonna undo. And what happens if I set max curvature to 90 and do the same thing? Notice that it's a little bit softer because max curvature now is going to be taking into account more of the model. So it's not going to be so militant in just a couple of areas. It's going to take into account more of the curvature and really give you a nice soft uh, round quality. Watch what happens when we do the same thing but we set edge smoothness to negative 10. Let's just return it to 25, get our base. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to undo set our max curvature to 90, control, click and drag. All right, so we're polishing more of the, uh, of the angle, uh, angularity, and this is really creating more angularity than what we have over here where it's just soft. So this can really help us uh, plane the model, really help us see the forms, and this can be just part of our building process part of where we are starting to define and decide planes. This is actually intended to be part of your sculpting process. When you just go in and start to define, well then I can say go into Damien Standard Brush and now this is all a little bit more clearly highlighted. Okay, let's highlight that a little more. Yeah, okay. Oops. Pull that down a little. Let's get a little deeper in here. Whoops. Keep hitting Alt. Whoop. We need to turn symmetry off. Remesh. And we can be as dramatic as we want. We can be as harsh as we want trying to kind of figure all this stuff out. But polishing is going to help us kind of clean up things and keep it nice and angular. Really amazing feature and definitely one I recommend you get yourself comfortable with because it can really help you in your sculpting process with clay 
uh, with DynaMesh. Really starts to kind of keep the form together as you work. So again, the two features that I was looking at there are edge and max curvature. Play with the others, see what happens. Good luck with your sculpting.